Hello everyone and welcome back to Miranda Patron Art. I'm Miranda back to do another video with you. Um, today I am going to pull something out of the stock that we used at Christmas time for the wood slice ornaments and I've been toying with the idea of making something that we can put up year round. So did make a stop at the Dollar Tree and got my blue paints together and this will be a multi-tool mandala um, that we'll be doing today. I'm really looking forward to this so let's get started. So these are the wood slices that I'm talking about that all you awesome crafters I'm sure have a surplus of if you didn't use them all at Christmas this year. So I was looking for something that we could do where it was something that we could put up year round and not have it just be at the holiday season, which the holidays are awesome. I love all the ornaments, but I was really wanting to enjoy these wood slices for a year round piece. So I'm going to create something on one of these today that we can hang up year round in our home. <clears throat> all right, so I wanted to do something that was a little mixed media again. So I went to the Dollar Tree and found these awesome laser cut icons. I grabbed the ones with the dolphins in them because I was feeling this ocean vibe and really looking forward to doing something with blues. So I did grab the ocean one and the dolphin is the one we're going to work with today. These are at the Dollar Tree in the craft section. Okay, so this is the final project of what our little guy will look like once it's all said and done. And we'll be using, like I said, a variety of tools today and paints. So let's get started with our wood slice. Okay, so I am just going to start off with this champagne metallic and use that for my background completely here. And I painted the entire background with that one coat. I'm just going to decide the orientation of where we want our little dolphin to go on the wood slice here. Obviously I want the um, ornament hole to be at the top for hanging purposes and just deciding where to put the dolphin. So we're going to start here just so I can get a kind of center dot going and then I'm going to take the dolphin out of the way. I'm using Bahama Blue. And you can use the angled stylus or the angled paintbrush for these, but you're just going to do like a plus sign to start off your dots. And in between that plus sign, put a dot in between each of those. And that will start the base for the symmetry for your mandala. Next, I have this eighth inch rod, just acrylic rods. And it's still the Bahama blue. I'm just going to dot it here in between our smaller dots of the first ring that we started. And you can see how it keeps your symmetry going if you just stay within the spaces of those. So I'm mixing a little bit of Bluebird in with that Bahama to get a slightly darker color. And it has a little bit more paint on the rod, but it is the same size rod. So you'll see the dots are a little bit larger, but it's just because I'm adding a little bit more paint on the first load of the dot. I mean of the <laughs> rod. There you go. So this one is a little bit larger. And I'm going to add a little bit more of that blue so it goes a little bit darker. So we're getting that ombre look from the progression of the light color paint to the darker blues. And we're in between each of those dots. We're just putting this larger one spaced right in the middle. Careful not to touch them. If they're wet, the paints will bleed into one another. All right, so I'm just going to grab my angled dotting stylus here with some metallic teal and we're going to walk some dots around these larger dots to just make one ring around these. But you can see the nice contrast with the aqua, the teal, as opposed to the other ones which are bluer and less greens in them. And we're just starting at the top 
and you work your way around each dot. You can also do this with a paintbrush or the etcher tool. And as you work your way around, the paint just runs off the tool, making your dots smaller. You don't have to change tools or do anything extra. Just work your way around and the paint will run off the tool, making the dots smaller. Those ones were a little bigger to start, but I'm just going to leave it like that because nothing is perfect and you're not, no one's going to notice after. This is about relaxing and just enjoying the process. Don't be so hard on yourself. If you have eight dots on one side and six on the other, no one's counting. It's still going to look beautiful. Just take your time and work your way around. I like working on these smaller pieces too because it's something you can finish up in, you know, an hour or so time and have a nice completed piece. I think what I'm going to do is show you how to do some swipes here with the angled stylus. I just kind of want to give it that kind of watery look since we're going with the dolphin and the aqua in the water. We'll make some swipes like some sort of movement with the waves here. So I'm going to grab some icy blue, which is from the Dazzling Metallic line. I'm going to start at the top of each of these sections with the large dot. And then I'm just going to pull it down until the tail reaches the inner circle there. Pull it down and around, just using your aqua dots as a guideline. Of course, i got to be cognizant of that hole in the slice there. And you just gently kind of tease the paint around, kind of pull it to where you want it to go. And this really is a take your time kind of thing. They say swipes, swooshes, swoops, you know, it looks not like it's done fast, but it's not. Just take your time and drag the paint out into the tail. Okay, so now I am going to use the second color where we mixed the Bahama and the Bluebird together. I'm adding another swipe on top of here. I tucked it right in past the hole there. <laughs> and so we're just kind of bulking up our water element here a little bit. And each time I kind of take a step back and decide what I would like to do for the next part of it to just kind of give it that little uniqueness, you know, where you just add each element I'm thinking as we have white caps on top of waves, I'm going to take the white and just kind of swirl it around and then drag the tail down. So you kind of have that wave curl at the top. Now this champagne is so shiny, so it's become a challenge to actually have the camera adjusted so you can see. So I'm playing here with the lighting and the focus just to try to make it a little bit easier but I do love the background it's like sparkling sand but it does not show up well on the cameras and I've tried all three of mine <laughs> so you get the idea I'm just kind of swirling it around like the top of a number two or a backwards s that kind of thing and then you just pull the tail out to drag it down along the swipes here Just following that line. So these are kind of like little waves for our dolphin. I have a lot of times where the ocean really has been an inspiration. I love the colors. And of course, I got to get under there. I'm going to go right through that hole there. Act like it wasn't there. And then get our last little white cap on here. Sometimes I take a step away or I look at it on camera just to kind of see. I feel like it needs something more. Maybe some top dots, maybe a little more swipes. But 
each time I just take a break and kind of take a peek at it to see what I want to add. So we're going to add some white on the intersections here. Just some little white dots to kind of brighten up the center a little bit. Like bubbles in the water. How are all yours coming along? I'm sure they're coming along. I want to say swimmingly so bad, but you know, the puns are kind of corny, so, but you get the idea. I hope you're enjoying creating these. And you can pause it as you need to if I'm going too quick here. I've got the etcher and it's being temperamental, so I'm really pressing down in here to get it on an angle and press it down to get the tinier dots because I would not be able to fit it in there with the dotting stylus. And this one is really to a point you could use a toothpick or a mechanical pencil if you don't have the etcher tool. And as always, all the links will be in the description for anything I've used in the videos if you guys want to check them out. Alright, so I'm going back, I think, to this acrylic rod. But unfortunately, I, I did not wait forever for my dots to dry so I'm gonna go for it it's gonna be wet on wet <laughs> so you can see it didn't pull into a perfect circle which is fine but you get the idea if you wait for your first layer to dry better yours would be a better circle when you put it, your top dots on for these ones as well you can see I'm working wet on wet so it's a little bit of a challenge for getting it in the exact middle but also getting that perfect dot that you want So this is the aqua. The center was the ice blue. And this is that, um, I'm sorry, I keep saying aqua, it's teal. Teal metallic. And I'm just kind of letting it drip off the tool rather than dotting with it because I'm working the wet on wet. See here, I didn't stamp it in there because it's wet. So I'm just dripping it in there. But those who use cones or anything like that, you'd be able to just kind of squeeze it in. Or if you just be patient and wait for the bottom layer to dry. <laughs> All right, so I adjusted the lighting again so you can see the colors look like they changed, but I promise it's the same piece. It just was frustrating me that I couldn't make it so you all could see it very well. I'm taking the etcher tool now with some of that Bahama from the center just to bring that color out here because I felt like these spaces kind of needed a little more. So we're just going to do a longer swipe starting at the top of the left, see the left hand side ones, it'll be at, starting at the second swipe, but you'll be doing them down the right hand side of each section. And this is the etcher tool. So you can see really it's just a dip and drag situation. You just dip, kind of adhere it to the, the base there and then pull out your tail in the direction that you want it to go. I really love these blues. It's really coming along nicely here. So again, it's just slow and steady and then pulling it out into the area where you want the tail to end. I think because these are mostly lighter colors, I'm going to actually do a little more contrast and grab that ice blue again to just kind of grab, you know, you keep the colors going throughout each piece. So it'll help kind of create a bit of contrast so it shows up better here on the out outskirts of the piece. I think you can see what I mean. Just because it's so much darker, just it's a great contrast. Also on this champagne. So again, we're just going a little bit higher. And then we're going to pull it down and around that Bahama swipe that we just made before this. Oh, if you guys are liking these videos, I just wanted to let you know you can hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified for when I get out new videos, which I'm hoping to keep doing more of this year. And just 
you know, an opportunity for, for me to keep the videos going, please just stop in the comments and say hi or leave an emoji or just something to kind of let the algorithm know that you're engaging with my videos. All right, so now I'm just kind of playing around with the ultimate placement of where I want to put my little dolphin for sure. And yes, I realize it's going over some of the mandala, but that's okay. It's easier to do this than it is to kind of try to paint around the dolphin. So you could do either, but I'm going to use the E600, <laughs> E600. And if you have sensitive skin or if you have concerns, I would put on gloves with wearing this, but I'm just going to put it on a tool so I don't touch any of the glue. I just have the silicone tools and I'll paint it on the back of our dolphin here and it's fairly thick as you can see it's kind of like a thick gel and it does dry fast so you kind of want to work with it pretty quickly I need a little more on there but this way too I don't have to touch any of the glue it does have a smell but it's not super strong and I used a lot of this glue when I did any of my ornaments for Christmas as well. It was, it's great for even gluing two stones together. All right, so I'm just going to put my little guy in here. And so you don't want to get too, too much because it will come up through the design too. You can see in the eyeball there, there's a little bit that came up. So I'm just going to kind of slide it down and then scrape off some of the excess. Okay, so I just want to give this one more look over to see if there's anything else that I want to add. And then I am going to varnish it real quick here with some Liquitox, Liquitex gloss because I want to see how it fares on the dolphin. Okay, so here we have the finished dried little guy all done and I will say it looks better in person to be honest. This metallic background is really challenging to get a good image of with my cameras so I do apologize for that. However, I am happy with how the Liquitex varnish really coated this and protected this piece very well. The press board is a little darker as you can see, the dolphin. Um, but I'm okay with that. I actually really like that. I contemplated painting the dolphin in the first place. So I hope you all enjoyed creating this piece with me. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments and in the future. And if you are looking for more videos, I have a ton here on Facebook for all sorts of designs. All right, y'all. I hope you have a great day and happy painting. Thanks so much for watching.